Go for it. James in his uh, usual Kirby fashion. Then uh, King Beetle for Black Bull, who I know is a, who is a favorite of his. This should be a good get, good match. Oh. Wasn't sure uh, Black Bull was about to recover on that one. Kirby's freaking down smash is just you know, crazy. Stupid brick. And James, James was kicking my butt earlier in that fireball Kirby thing. I want to see some posse of poop on some people. What? So true. I think like a boss is coming up soon. Oh wow. Yeah, he's going. He's going to be playing as Dirt Star earlier. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna pick. Oh wow. Good start take from the King Diddy there. <laughs> These are these two guys' favorite uh I don't think James plays anybody else but Kirby. I don't think I've seen him play one else. He just SD. The first time I played with James, I think it was like my first tournament, uh, for uh throwing hands a love story. And someone told me that he hasn't played in three years. Well, he, we were walking into the match, and he was like, and I was like, great, he kicked my ass, and he was like, nah, it's probably the other way around. I'm like, what are you talking about? Like, then haven't we played before? And he kept saying, he, was like, he kept saying that we had played before. I'm like, I don't think we have, bro. Like, I've seen you play, and like, you're, you're good. If we played before, you would have kicked my ass. And then, lo and behold, he kicks my ass. Uh -huh. And I'm like, see, this is what I was talking about. Uh -huh. <laughs> I really enjoy how Black Hulk plays uh, King Diddy. He uses that little charge of hammer so much, and it's just so satisfying to watch it connect. Oh, but it doesn't. Cool James hits him first, but Cool James isn't his last stop with 122 percent Yeah, I want, one, one, one good one. hit from Diddley, and he'll be, he'll be gone. Uh huh. Black Wolf does a really good job with Diddley. What is Diddley from? King Diddley is from Kirby. Is he from Kirby? That's okay. the antagonist of the Kirby. Uh, oh, I love this then. I didn't uh, realize that. It's like I think I played Kirby like once back in the day, but I was like, I'm just not. I'm not a fan of this. Um, oh, Kirby is. I love the story of Kirby. I don't like the adventure style because I don't know how to explain. It was fun. There it, it is. Super repetitive. Wow. So good I, think, job, I, think, I think that was it for me. Like the Kirby game didn't again didn't have any real storyline or substance to it. The storyline is like shown in cutscenes, but they don't have dialogue, so it's like you have to figure it's, it out. Yeah, but I, I thought it was so I, I, cool. I just wasn't a fan of it. Oh my gosh! But I didn't stick with it. Um. Well, in case you don't know, the story behind Kirby is that King Diddy wants to steal all the food in Dreamland, and Kirby's like, "We can't do that." And then that's why we're fighting. Hmm. It's pretty cool. But then along the line, you meet like Dino Blade. Which is just like a robot bird that's in the way, and then you free her. It's so cool. I love Kirby. <laughs> I actually ready when you warm. Didn't realize King King Diddle was a against Kirby, so this actually makes for a fun matchup. Yeah, I know. Because they're actual, you know, uh -huh, counterparts uh -huh. to each other. Protagonist versus antagonist. That's just one of the enemies, but it's so fun. It's a big boss. I can't. I, that that. See, I look at those pictures of of uh, Dynablade, and I'm just like, either Thanksgiving or Rainbow Flag. Uh huh. And I'm not sure. I'm not guy. sure what that is. That I want to. I want to. I don't know what the hell that is, but I want to set him on fire. Yeah, he's that's cool. an obnoxious looking character. Marks was probably one of my favorite ca uh, characters in the Kirby series. It's like, oh, you think he? I almost spoiled it all for you. I don't care. It's like, oh, you think King Diddy is the real antagonist? And then you, like, leave Earth. And you realize that there's, like, an antagonist from the entire galaxy. And, and it's him. him. It's awesome. There's always, there's always a boss bigger than the one last before. Oh, my God. It, I first, like, did that whenever I was nine. And I was like, whoa. Whoa. It was so cool. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Cool Change is really pulling it back. With only 8% and already 152 off of King Diddy. Wow. This is, I mean, this is... This is a a turnaround. complete turnaround. Yeah. 
Oh, we did get 26% off of them. I wonder if he was playing it safe before. Maybe? It just feels like playing a little bit more aggressively this time. Okay, I'm back now. You're back? For a long time. No, you're good, you're good. Nice. We didn't mess here, it's okay. I was closing the gap. So you're closing the gap? So You getting low? Yeah. He's getting tired. <laughs> yeah. Just keep playing him and wear him out. I really want to, but I, I gotta compensate. <laughs> you don't have to, you can keep playing if you want. I mean, there's two of us in here. You guys been doing okay? Yes. Okay, cool. <laughs> I'm gonna tell him that you guys didn't want me at all. Okay. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> Blackmore and two stocks. Cool James still on all three stocks, but only 67%. Cool James really He's pulling back. Something around. happened in yeah. between. He definitely is Ooh. pulling something out. Good attack from the upper platform, too. Uh, oh. hmm. That's that move I like. Oh, I played King DB for like three days and I love that move. So it's move. just that one where it's it up. It feels it's like a hammer gun thing. Yeah. It feels so good to hit. It, <laughs> oh my god. The impact and then the noise. It's so awesome. I love it. But I can't play King DB slow. Black Bolt is on two stocks 92%. Cool James still on three stocks. But right. he's way within 2%. Black Bull needs one solid hammer hit and then he's just gone. Oh, maybe two solid hammer hits on him. I oh, didn't know wow. they were flooded. That was pretty cool. I was not expecting that. Me either. Ooh. Wow. Cool James is kicking ass right now. Cool James makes Kirby seem like a top tier <laughs> character. It's a way to lock these wheels. Yeah, I know. <clears throat> Ooh. We're gonna be entering. Oh, shield break! I think we're gonna be entering around three on this. I think so too. Oh, Black Bull got a shield break, but didn't Kinda capitalize there on it. it. Is. But then he. Okay, that's fine. I think shield breaking into the ground is a pretty funny idea. This, oh. is, this is crazy. Mm -hmm. This is a complete turnaround from the last game. I think so as well. Ooh. I do notice that Cool James doesn't grab a lot. I'm wondering if maybe it's just bad to grab a turkey. I don't maybe know. I'm not grab's not guy. worth it. Maybe. It might be too slow. Oh, ooh, good wait out. I just don't have the quick reflexes to respond to uh, oh, I know. a lot of these characters go fast and because that they know what they're doing with them, I'm just like... Mm -hmm. It's hard. Yeah. I still haven't gotten there yet. I With Rosalind and Luma, you don't really have to get there. Cause you can just keep your distance and star bits or like forward air. Oh, it's so fun! Ooh, wow! Who's just like good Kirby? Oh, oh man, could make the save. Did Black Bull not have enough jumps? Gonna be a. Queen. I think it was just pushed too far out. Couldn't make that recovery. All right, well that's one to one for Black Bull and Cool James. Interesting. I wonder if they'll keep up Ooh, with the, like, the little Kirby games. That'd be fun. I got like three hours of sleep last night and I was trying to catch up and help. Really? I, I, couldn't, I laid in bed for like two hours. And I just was not, I was trying to force myself to go to sleep and I just couldn't. Oh my gosh. Next thing I know, it's four o'clock in the morning and I just said, fuck it. So I went back to the, to the living room and I just started watching TV. Oh my gosh. Seven o'clock rolls around when I'm finally starting to fade and I got the sun coming through the windows. I'm like, ah, hey. Uh huh, the sun just it wakes up. you up. It's so annoying. <laughs> and I woke up around like 10 30. I'm just like, all right, I'm going with my day. I got shit to do. <laughs> oh, it, I mean, you're knocked out and it's only 10, so you have plenty of time to drive home if you feel like it. Uh, so no, I'm, you... I'm, I'm, I'm gonna wait until this though. Okay, I don't want you driving home tired. Don't gonna like, yeah, oh. worst case scenario, I'll pull up on the side of the road and take the nap. I've oh. always heard that like that's what you're supposed to do, but I feel like if you do that. Do you not get arrested for like loitering? No. Really? No. That's like a thing you can do. Mm -hmm. I see. The thing is, it's all about safety. So when you do something like that, you need to pull off into a an actual exit and park into a gas station, crash out in your car. Oh, okay, okay. Um, like on my trips, whenever I drive back up north to like visit family and stuff, I will pull off into like the actual rest areas they have on the interstates. Um, and I'll just crash my car for a few hours and I'll wake up once sunlight hits and wakes me up and I'll hit the road again. That seems so scary. It's like... I mean, you're locked in your car. Yeah, okay. And there's all, there's, and most of those places have a security guard. 
on hand, so nobody's gonna like you know mess around with you. They lay on your horn and start causing a ruckus and waking everybody oh. else up. Uh huh. Everybody's like, it's so sketchy. It's really not that sketchy. But now that you, I thought it was sketchy too, and then you explained it like there's a like the horn and stuff. Yeah. Because yeah. you're, you're also not the only one there sleeping. Mm -hmm. There's always, I mean, there's always like at least a dozen, if not more, cars. And then you've got all the truckers on the other side uh -huh. that stop off and do the same thing. So you're not alone by any. It's well enough lit to where it doesn't bother you to sleep, but it's everything outside is still visible. Mm -hmm. Wow, Cool James is once again pulling it back with this curtain. Yeah, he's like he's doing really well. I'm thinking this might be a Cool James round. I'm thinking that too, but King Diddy is really bulky, so his 120% is more like a 60%, if that makes sense. So it's almost even? Oh, Black Cool. I mean, I, you know, I would say that too. I would agree with you on that, but except for the fact that, you know, this same thing happened just last game. Oh, you're and so then right. you have something like that happen, uh -huh. and it, it completely flips the story. Wow. And he's, Kirby's only at 75, now he's at 92. He's but, he, but he's also, you know, he can take a lot of damage before he gets sent off the field. That was on his last stock, currently. Yeah. Cool James on two. Ooh, he's, okay, so look, okay, he two. balanced it out. See, he balanced it out. Now, this is going to be the defining point right here as to what the Kirby or did he take it. 34% on the King Z. No offense, oh, but because I lost goodness. to Cool James last time, I'm 100% rooting for Black Bull right now. <laughs> I'm kind of rooting for Cool James here, I don't know. Nope, I'm bitter. I'm a bitter <laughs> Betty right now. <laughs> I'm a petty Betty. I'm a, oh, petty I'm a, Betty, that's a guy I'm like that. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a, a petty bitch and a petty Betty. Petty Betty. Oh my gosh. Black Bull got the 30% on the curtain. Cool James, 109%. Oh man, Ooh, this I, is gonna be a cool oh! What's up, told you. Wow. That's game. Good that was, job. That was a good Ooh. round though. Oh my god, it's that's, just that like that game was nuts. That second game was just nuts. like completely flipped the script on the whole thing. That was the hell of a turnaround. No uh home. -huh.